Is much that better? better. Much yeah. better. Nu ska det handla om asteroider. Himla kroppar som åker runt i rymden finns svin många bara i vårt solsystem. Resa Emami. Okej. Okay. Hello. Hello, Risa, how are you? I'm doing very well indeed. How are you? I'm fine. We're at a, at a hotel. Yes, we are, yes. <laughs> Because you're traveling a lot. Yes, I do, yeah. When you hear the word asteroids, how do you feel? What feeling do you get? Well, I get excited, yeah? <laughs> frankly, because asteroid exploration and mining is one of uh, my fields of research. Yeah. So I would definitely listen to anybody who actually brings this word. I think about adventure. That is very true indeed. In yeah. fact, you get the feeling of exploring the unknowns. Your research uh, is partly about mining asteroids in the future. Uh, shouldn't we just stay on Earth and mine what stuff we have here? <laughs> Why do Very we good have question. To? <laughs> yes, indeed. So, in the future, we need to have power stations, solar power stations in the space. In the future, we need to have a bases for deep space transportations. We will need to have fueling stations, like a gas station that we have on Earth in space in order to refuel our satellites because the cost of taking fuel from Earth to the orbit is very, very high for building such constructions in a space. We have to find our materials from a space to build in uh, space. constructions <laughs> in space. So that's one important reason. Are we talking about building things that are uh, floating in space or building things on other planets? We are talking about planetary bases as well as the space stations. You know, we have limited resources on Earth for certain materials that are crucial for our technological advancement for other aspects of our life. Platinum group materials, these are special metals yeah. and we use them in almost all industries, electronics and such materials are typically rare on Earth and that's why they're so expensive. Now, we know that we will eventually run out of such resources on Earth mm -hmm. and therefore we'll have to find other resources. And the best resources that we know uh, exist is, are asteroids. Uh, some companies actually estimated that just a 30 meter diameter near Earth asteroid yeah. has approximately 50 billion dollar worth of such resources. So I really don't want to look at the crystal ball at this stage to tell you when asteroid mining will happen. 20 years, I say. Let's hope, let's hope. My research aims at asteroid mining, but realistically we are still far from that point. Mm -hmm. So the research focuses uh, at the moment focuses on first exploring more and more asteroids. We try to invent and develop new mechanisms to approach asteroids, rendezvous with them, and then take samples from those asteroids and bring them back to Earth. Thank you very much for uh, talking to me about uh, mining and asteroids. You're most welcome. We are amidst an exciting time. Good luck to all of us. Yeah, let's go to space.